So I just received a few new things from uh, Gearbest and one of them is this mouse that kind of caught my eye, piqued my interest when I saw it online. I think the price was around $16-$17. Uh, one of my mouses on, on one of my computers in the house started acting up so I was trying to look for a fairly cheap replacement but at the same time to have some features so this is what I chose as you can see. Uh, the uh, brand of this mouse is Moto Speed. <laughs> so I don't know if they are a vendor or they're a sub vendor of somebody else, but there's a lot of bold claims about this mouse, uh, technically at least. And as you can uh, pause the video, probably you can see uh, some of them outlined here. There's 4,000 uh, DPIs, nine keys on it. 20 million times of switching fire, refresh rate 500 hertz, Teflon matte cover, 1.8 meters uh, braided cable, which is six feet. Um, whatever the FPS they're measuring, 6400, I'm not sure what that means in mouse language. Uh, maximum triggering speed is 160 IPS. Uh, two milliseconds respawn time, I guess. Hopefully that's going to be low enough. Uh, maximum acceleration is 20G. Uh, Gold-plated US plug, that means nothing. It's just a marketing trick. It doesn't help you at all. Uh, dimensions, weight. Uh, one of the things that I really liked about this mouse and kind of attracted me to it, it actually has um, the ability to add weight and remove weight. It has one of those... Um, a little cylinder weights, metal weights that you can add and, and remove uh, depending on your prefer preferences and how heavy you want that mouse to be. Uh, dedicated fire, fire key, uh, my current mouse doesn't have that so I'm not sure how that functions. I'm going to test it and show it to you. And again some of these things are outlined as well. I was hoping the mouse will be fairly big because I like, uh, I like bigger mouses. And this one is, uh, you know, not that small. Um, I definitely uh, like the size of it again some of the outlined buttons here right button left fire sniper key forward backward anti-skid roller whatever that is adjustable dpi gold plated usb like i said nothing to write home about but let me open it real quick and see what's inside so pulling the content out we have a warranty card in orange chinese obviously we're not going to be able to use that we have a short manual and by short, I mean really short with some specification in different languages. You can see uh, we have Korean, I believe, uh, German, Portugal, Turkish, Spanish, Pol uh, Polish. Uh, and on the other side, we have the Chinese, English and um, Taiwanese or Japanese. Forgive my ignorance. But yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Plug and play. Pretty much all mouses are like that these days. Uh, let me see if I can pull it out of this packaging, which you guys see me struggle multiple times. But, oh, there we go. All right, so let me move that out of the way and see uh, how is the mouse. So right off the bat, I can say it's pretty heavy. Uh, all the weights are probably inside pretty heavy uh, compared to all my mouses that I currently have and some of them that are, I've been using in the past. Uh, regardless of that, I think that will be great because I can adjust the weight uh, to my liking. Side cover, uh, it's not rubberized, it's textured plastic. Top of it is that rubberized uh, cover and this section as well. Clickiness, it's not loud, it's not too quiet. Definitely, uh, I like it. Kind of reminds me of some of the mouses I have from Logitech and Mionix. Maybe they use the same triggers, but it's uh, it's not too loud. I like that. Uh, we have some of the adjustments of DPI, and the wheel is actually very smooth. I don't know if you can hear it at all. Uh, it's it's very smooth wheel movement. Uh, forward and back buttons. I like these a lot. My thumb kind of rests very well between the buttons and the base. I like that as well. And this is the trigger, the, the fire button or whatever they call it. 
I'm gonna test that as well and see how it works. Um, in the bottom, we can see the sensor, the name again. I gotta figure it out how to open this section and show you the weights. Give me one second. So I figure it out. It's actually a magnetic cover. So just pull slightly to the side tab right here and you see how it opens right away. So if you place them back in the hinges, kind of situate everything correctly, it kind of shuts on its own because of the magnetic. Um, you know, I don't know how long that's gonna last, but considering that the mouse is facing down, it should be fine. So once you remove that cover, you can see the five different weights inside. You can pull them uh, somehow. <laughs> Let me figure it out. So they take a little bit of a kind of a wiggling around in order to be able to pull them out. But this is how they look. I'm not sure how many grams per weight it is. I might use one of my little scales and figure it out and give you the information. Maybe it's listed, but I really don't care. Uh, I don't want to be that precise. You know, I'm going to figure it out the weight by removing some and just trying the mouse, then removing another one and trying the mouse. But it's a great option. You know, this is an option that exists in some of the most high-end mouses that are out there from popular brands, you know, Corsair, Mionix, uh, you know, Logitech, Razer. And you get the same thing uh, in, in a package uh, for, you know, less than $20 from you know no name Chinese brand uh, cable is very nicely braided uh, not anything wrong with it at all uh, even isolated as well and this is the end quote-unquote gold-plated USB let me plug it in and see how bright the lights on that mouse is hopefully they're not too bright let's give it a try so first this is the size comparison before I plug in the mouse uh, next to my main uh, Mionix Neos 8200, I believe. Yeah, 8200, um, which entirely is covered with that same uh, rubberized uh, PVC. Um, let me see, size-wise, the Mionix is slightly bigger. Uh, if I can do the real test with the grip, slightly longer and slightly higher, um, I would say that comfort, the level of comfort of your grip will be better with the Mionix. Obviously that's a very expensive mouse. Well, very expensive. It's, it's about, I don't know, 50, 60 dollars at the time. This one is 18. Um, comfortable on the fingers, but a little bit shorter. Uh, if you're a palm or claw grip, probably if your claw will be better. Uh, I kind of tend to palm more, so this one is better for me. Um, Weight wise, this is lighter apparently, uh, but this one has all the weights inside, so I can definitely adjust that. So let me plug it in instead of the Mionix and see how it looks. All right, now that I have the other mouse connected, you can see that maybe I should turn off the light and make it a little bit dimmer so you can see how the light is. But it's making this breeding effect where the light fades and gets stronger. Um, currently in red, I don't know if the color can be changed. I have to play around and see. There's no software provided. Maybe I can try to find something online. Um, I'm not too crazy about that breeding effect. You know, being red and uh, kind of, you know, uh, one unified color. I'm okay with that. But uh, let me turn off the light and see how it looks. And we'll see if I can find anything to tune that light. All right, hopefully that's a little bit better. You can see uh, the light effect. So if I can press, oh, okay. Now we're changing colors, so it's kind of an amber, green, uh, okay, darker green, teal, blue, purple, lighter purple, I guess, and now, oh, okay, so I see, this is, the, the color changes depending on the DPI, so this is the highest DPI, 4000, so the mouse is really fast, and if it can scale down, it slows down to a different color. So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much what they did. So I'm kind of happy with that to be honest with you because I think the speed I like is the green. Now if, if I can uh, <laughs> take away that breeding effect, tone it down somehow, I'm gonna have to figure it out. But uh, you know, obviously we have forward and backward buttons that are working. Uh, this, I'm not sure what exactly it was, but uh, you can see the uh, part of the video we have the uh, 
description and this is the, the firing button which kind of makes the lights go crazy but uh, it's, it's fine I guess again for $18 I think this mouse is pretty good um, cable is very nice as well kind of moves nice uh, as you can see it's not laser we have that red light um, and yeah pretty good would I recommend it? Yes, absolutely. I think for uh, less than $18, magnetic adjustments, different DPIs, uh, pretty comfortable, especially if you're claw rather than palm gripper on the mouse. Uh, smoothly moves, enough weight and you can reduce it. I think it's pretty good. Uh, for me, it gets an approval. I'll see how it's in gaming and I'll uh, let you know as well. But that's it for now guys, hit the, uh, the thumbs up if you like the video, stay tuned to the channel, there will be a lot more coming very soon, and until next time, you have a wonderful day.